Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey, Chris. Oh, I don't know. Maybe your name's Chris, too. My, my name's Chris. Uh, that's how most emails start out. And when people email me, chris at perillo.com, that's how you get a hold of me. Um, some people ask me, Chris, how do you get started in computer troubleshooting? How do you learn about computers? Where do you begin? And I don't really have any single answer, uh, so I'm very grateful that Tom does. In fact, he's got five answers. He sent me a top five list on how to get started with computers. Uh, and as I read this list, I want you to keep one thing in mind. Tom is 12 years old. Keep that in mind. How to get started in computers. If you don't know how to complete a task on your computer that you want to complete, just remember that your computer can't bite. This is one of the most common problems I see at school when my peers come and ask me for help. Because the teacher is unavailable, they're frightened that intervention may cause a larger issue. Try fixing the issue yourself. For example, if the PC will not connect to the network, check all the cables. Number two, don't just click around randomly. Everyone knows about Google. Type in a few keywords. If you don't have any joy, try Microsoft Help Online, or for Mac users, try Apple.com, or for that matter, if you're looking for any other advice or further help, try live.perillo.com, where you can find us, or help.lockernome.com. Number three, please don't freak out. It's the last thing that's going to help you. Number four, if all the possible suggestions above are used and produce no solution, try asking a local geek. Go into a computer store and see what they recommend, or in the case of OS X or Apple, go into an Apple store and talk to a genius. That's what the Apple store technicians call themselves. Don't worry if it's just a small problem. Always remember that they're paid to try to help anyone, and everyone has questions. Everyone, myself included. No matter how small or large the issue may be, you're never going to know unless you ask. Number five, when you found the answer to your problem or question, try and learn about what the problem was caused by and what fixed the problem. This way, you'll be able to help others if they ever have the same problem or a similar one to the one that you had. Hope these tips would be of some use to the rest of the community. Thanks, Chris. Tom. He's 12 years old. 12 years old. And he has already figured out things that people thrice his age have yet to figure out. I'm not putting 36-year-olds down. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but Google is your friend. Google's my friend. Google's everybody's friend. You type in a search term with your problem, and sometimes it'll produce results. In fact, if you come to the chat room, if you can't figure out a problem or you want to discuss something, the first thing that some of us might do, myself included, is ask you if you've searched Google. In some cases, people will ask something very uh, general, saying, Chris, what do you think about, well, X? And I'll respond with a Google search with the words Perillo X, with X being the keyword that they were asking about. Google's got an archive of just about everything that I've talked about, stretching all the way back to when I started uh, online uh, back in 1996. I've been doing it for quite a while. Certainly wasn't 12 years old, uh, but uh, Tom, I think you've got a bright future ahead of you. Uh, amazing, amazing list. Great, fantastic list. I also like the fact that you said uh, to learn about what the problem was caused by and to share that information. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I enjoy blogging and, and, and doing videos uh, because if I run into problems, chances are other people have run into problems. In fact, I've blogged about things that years later people are commenting on those blog posts saying, ah, that's how you do it. I couldn't figure out how to do it. And of course, they found me by searching Google. In some cases, they may swing by the chat room. Uh, in some cases, they may email me. And, you know, the bottom line is, is, you know, you have to look after yourself. And you know, we, as the rest of the internet, uh, may do our best to help you. But if you can't help yourself, there's not much we're going to be able to do for you. I mean, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it think. So hopefully, you're thinking, and hopefully, uh, you appreciated the top five list as submitted by one of the most intelligent 12 years old. Uh, or 12 year olds, I think, and that, that didn't sound intelligent at all. I completely nullified my point, never mind. 
Anyway, uh, if you want to email me, chris at perilla.com is, is how you can do that. And you can email me your top five lists, whether they happen to be related to technology or not. I'll take any top five list that can benefit the greater community out there. Would love to record a video if it's written well. Don't matter how old you are, uh, I'll take any top five list or any email in general. And you're also welcome to swing by the chat room, uh, where we're typically talking tech. And we have uh, geeks of all ages, and certainly uh, both genders. Uh, we, uh, we, we get them all. I mean, honestly, I, I, it's difficult to nail down our demographic. It's all over the map. And I love that. I love that diversity. I wouldn't trade that for the world. I love it. And uh, I love you. You're just not getting uh, anything. Uh, you're not getting my drink. That's, uh, it's, a, it's a platonic thing thing honestly um you know it's because it's just a one-way relationship you never call you never email i mean what's up with that I mean, you, you leave comments you know but you know you don't know me you know you don't you don't know me and I, i've been trying to change that for the longest time so swing by the chat room you know uh, chat it up share some tips share some knowledge you know don't just uh, come in there and ask questions come in there and give answers we'd love to have you there we're talking anyway might as well be with you you know what i'm saying well, we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.